Cameron, uh, back again for another Tweak Time video. Um, I'm back again with yeah. uh, Chris Lee from Ace Rock. And uh, what he's got here is a couple of X79 motherboards, really high end X79 motherboards to show us about. So I'm going to go grab the camera now, and then Chris is going to tell us about these boards. All right, Chris, you've got two really exciting looking X79 motherboards here. Can you please tell us about them? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, the X79 chips are just launched, you know, last year, but now we're still continuing to provide our users pretty good, pretty awesome X79 motherboards. Just like this one is the, you know, the uh, Vitality Gaming Series motherboards. It's X79 Champion. This is also the, you know, the first SROC Vitality Champion products. Uh, based on the Intel high-end X79 chipset, we provide you know the four-way SOI on these main boards, and also you can see that there is a cool badge here. We call that the Suncore 3D. This is also you know pretty designed for the gamers because uh, this one under this badge is a creative um, you know signature Suncore 3D chip on board, so we can make the you know the the, the uh, gamers have. Um, Great gaming experience for the audio. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I want to highlight is the you know the Sanko 3D has another um, 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 exclusive feature we call that the Scout mode because um, this is also the uh, world's only only audio codec can support the you know Scout mode. Scout mode can let the you know when you when you guys play the FPS games the Scout mode when you enable the Scout mode it can let you hear the enemy before they get near you. Okay. So this is really good for the you know FPS gamers to you know. To, to know where your enemy is, okay. so this is good. Cool. And uh, another cool model I want to show you is the you know this one X79 Extreme 11. This is really designed for the hardcore users. Oh, I know. We we did have done a news post on this, but now we actually get to see it in person, and it looks really impressive. Chris, yeah. can you can you tell us what what makes this motherboard impressive? Yeah, for sure. This one just like you know the Ferrari. Okay, this one just like a supercar, Ferrari class motherboards. Okay, you can see that here, there are two just like chipset here. This one is an Intel X79 chipset, and this one is an LSI SAS chip. Okay. Okay, um, because uh, we put the LSI SAS chip on board, we can make this motherboard can support the SAS hard drive. You can see here, there are eight SAS hard drive here, SAS ports here. Mm -hmm. Uh, plus the native SAR three port, two native SAR three ports from Intel X79 chipset. Yeah. So, oh, no. uh, if you guys don't connect the SAS hard drive, this you can also connect the SAR three hard drive. Right. But for the SAS and SAS uh, SAR three hard drive, both you can you can you know enjoy the six gig bit. Yeah, on a de on a desktop class motherboard, I have never seen as many SATA ports. Exactly. On a like this, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, for the you know the workstation chipset from the um you know the from Intel, they also provide the 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 SAS. SAS function, but uh, one thing I want to highlight is for the Intel um, C606, I guess, yeah, that workstation chipset can only support the, you know, the SAS ports based on the 3 gigabit per second speed, but LSI SAS chip can provide 6 gigabit per second speed, mm -hmm. so okay. this one is better than the, you know, the, the, the native, native yeah. um, workstation chipset. I see what you mean. This is the First and thing I want to I noticed about. you've also got uh, two PLX bridge yeah, shots here. Yeah. Can, what's, hap what's happening with the PCI Express slots? Can you tell us in, in a bit of detail about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just like the you know Z77 Extreme 9, uh, that board we just put one PLX PCI Gen 3 chip, but on this high end chip, uh, I, uh, for, for this high end chip, on, on this high end board, we put two PLX Gen 3 chip on board. So this one can make this board can support the four-way SOI and all by 16. Mm. This is also the world's first motherboard support the four-way SOI with the all by 16 bandwidth. So wow. this is really you know, awesome. So there is, I mean, even if you weren't interested in uh, SLI, SLI or Crossfire, yeah. you could, there is an extreme amount of bandwidth here that you could do a lot of sort of workstation level tasks with exactly. and stuff exactly. like that. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, we can see that 16 power phases, eight dims, and the four-way SOI with us, you know, the all by 16, and also the just like the X79 Champion, we got the Creative Sanko 3D audio chip on board. Mm -hmm. So this one really can provide you, you know, the best of the best. If you if you guys want the best of the best, this is your choice. Mm. I guess you've got enough champion. money, right? For sure, Ferrari <laughs> never be cheap. Do, do you know? Yeah, uh, for sure. Uh, when when will this motherboard be going? So and and do you know roughly what the price might be, the retail price? Well, uh, I would like to say this one will be launched. <coughs> you know, in the maybe. Um, mid of May, but the price is not finalized yet, but you guys know that 
this boy will, you know, Ferrari never be cheap. So <laughs> this one. Will well, if you want the high end, you get this one. Yeah, okay. Sure. So uh, thank you again, uh, Chris, for your uh, time to introduce us to these new um, high end X79 motherboards from Race Rock. Uh, we look forward to testing them and uh, come back again soon for more video content from Tweaktown.